Bulls this season were shut out in the first half by Florida State's defense. And hesitating is Kermit Whitfield. He'll run it out. And it's a good return across the 30-yard line. Touchdown to Benjamin at the end of the second quarter. He'll throw from his end zone here on first down and going deep. And a beautiful throw. It's caught. Green with the catch. Couldn't draw it up any better. Talked about his down the field accuracy in the first half. And he finds another man inside the 30-yard line. Actually creating and making a statement with this offense. Winston again to the air. And this time can't find an open receiver. High next week then they'll be at Clemson on October 19th. And in trouble in the backfield is Freeman. A huge oh, loss. Of the Those were third and eight, third and nine. Winston stepping up, eludes a tackler inside the 20, inside the 15, all the way to the 10 yard line. State five and two plays there at the Maryland 25. Freeman wrapped up at the line of scrimmage and dragged to the ground. Winston. Winston off play action to the end zone. Touchdown. It's Nick O'Leary with the touchdown catch. 27-zip. And a deep kickoff here. And we'll come out to the 25 as we check in with Reese Davis. We know Maryland's a much better team than they were a year ago. I mean, Florida State was up to the task. Forward pass that is right. low. But they only, they only got, he only touched the ball four times out of 28 plays in the first half. It's not enough. Over the middle to the 31-yard line. It's not Gets hit as he throws it deep for Diggs. Incomplete. Mario Edwards had pressure backside. It's Xavier Rhodes, and they needed a guy on the outside, and, and uh, he's been there for him in a big way. Renfro's punt, and there was kick catch interference that time by A.J. Kendi. 35 yard line. Winston looking downfield. to the air again with all day to throw and this one is caught inside the 40 and 38 yard line throwing him the ball nine completion of 15 yards or more for winston here's a run play wilder inside the 30 yard line and down to the 25 under some duress and he's got his team down to the 25 lukes winston to the corner and overthrown and james says I love being coached to perfection, and that's what Jimbo Fisher does. Wilder bounces off of a tackler into the arms of a defender at the 21. Jimbo's done a great job of that. Here's third and six. Winston sensing pressure. Unloads to the end zone. Another strike. Another FSU touchdown. Kenny Shaw. Their knees up there at Edison. <laughs> <laughs> and likely had trouble with the kickoff, and now... Trying to get positive yards and get outside, get stiff on. Likely lost the ball, but fumbled it out of bounds. When I can't get the rebuttal from the <laughs> so. Here's Rowe, and a nice throw. It's a diving catch at the 28-yard line by the tight end. Dick. And got some studs. A lot of dudes. Yep. We were watching practice the other day, marveling at some of these guys as that pass is thrown into coverage and nearly intercepted by 5-0 Florida State. And here's Rowe taking off, met and dropped by Telvin. And this is just their front set. And Jimbo Fisher, 35 and 10 in four years. He really has restored faith for Seminole fans in the Florida State program. Team, last week they didn't do it against BC. They're doing it for certain this week. Rowe, and a leaping attempt made by Long, and he... Here's Rowe on first and 10, and he's in trouble. And a good run, dies for midfield. It seems like, you know, you have got to him, and I think to Nick Saban in Alabama, those are the guys they're looking for because you know they're going to persevere through the tough times, and they're going to have that kind of sacrifice for the team and himself. They're blitzing down, they're up 35 nothing, and Christian Jones got pressure. Check that seventh punt for Renfro. And here's Shaw. To about the 18 yard line. First down on the 17. They'll keep it on the ground here. And a big hole for Freeman. Near another 
first down at the 27 yards. This is a passing team and the benefit from having a guy like Carlos Williams. Freeman on second and a yard gets the first down at the 29. Inside six minutes to go in the third and Winston will throw. And Benjamin is there to make the catch. But this year certainly has made that improvement. A power past the marker here with Wilder for a first down to the 40s. Freeman trying to get outside of camp. Wrapped up in the backfield by... Here. Had some question marks about the season, all of which have been answered. Here's Winston eluding pressure again. A beautiful throw on the run. It's Shaw inside the 30. Puts the hand down and gets extra yardage. To the Just uh, three seniors starting for Florida State on offense. Freeman brought down at the 16-yard line. A six-yard pickup. To run the ball and they can come off and attack. It's much easier on them and they're starting to do that now. Freeman. First down to the 11-yard line. Their first VCS Bowl win for them as they won that game in 13 years. Tackle made by Monroe on Freeman. Bo Fisher, a lot of mutual respect there in coaching, and I think that that's helped him this year. Winston can't. Oh, he did get out of there. How did that happen? And then he throws a touchdown to Nick O'Leary. Oh, my goodness, what a play by Jameis Winston. Looked like he was done at Miss Winston. He's 230 pounds. Marilyn was telling us all last night, we got to go for his legs. You don't get him on the ground, and he's going to make you pay. Perfect throw on top of it. My goodness. Another pooch kick. And it's going to hit the ground. And uh, bounce to Likely, who gets it to the 22-yard line. With the ball on its 22-yard line. And back up for the Caleb Bro sacked at the 11 -year. match. Very complicated on the back end. Row from his goal line hit as he throws. And it's a catch and a first down. And then the ball comes out. It's recovered by Darby. He's loose at the 30. Does a spinorama. And finally tackled around the 21. With the ball at the 21-yard line of Maryland. And play action, going to the end zone, touchdown, number five for Winston, Benjamin with the catch. The stats are pretty good for this guy, though, and he goes way beyond just statistics. He's a heck of a football player. With Florida State. Another beautifully placed kickoff, and we'll come out to the 25. Here's Reese, people. Yeah, we might have an uh, encryption. You know, what would you know about Twitter? <laughs> Albert <laughs> Reed, two-yard game. Championship for discussion, right? And dump off pass that's incomplete. But in the past, you got to take care of the, yep. the next three. And then my question is, after that emotional game, how do they respond against NC State? And I actually think, you know, honestly, the fact that they lost to him a year ago will help them not over that will be up there and then you have the Alabama LSU game so you know yeah, Washington Stanford tonight on ESPN be a great end. Jesus Wilson brought down at the 34 yard line back in a moment Beal Alabama has thrown 12 passes this year and they're going to throw here with a 49 nothing lead as the pass is pulled in across the 40 by true freshman Isaiah Jones just a second ago Another pass play. I'm not so sure that Andy Etzel is going to be happy with this because that's caught in Maryland territory. A, true, uh, a player in the 2014 class currently committed at quarterback. Coker's pass tipped and almost intercepted. Bill could have an opportunity even if he doesn't get to play a whole bunch. Maybe if you threw a name out there, Coker might want to be compared to somebody else, though, as uh, Carlos <laughs> Williams. Carlos Williams touches. He's in there right now. Here is Williams. And again, on the cutback. Ankle tackled at the 18-yard line right at the front of the ball to end the game. Even with a 49-0 lead. You picked up on that? <laughs> Here's Coker. And pass incomplete. You ain't going to be happy, I'll tell you that. Here's Williams inside the five. Touchdown, Florida State. From the way they play. I just think that Ohio State at this point is a little bit too much for them to handle, but 
The interesting suit. Likely had to return that one, boy. He took a shot. Give him credit, though. He didn't go down. Out to the 16-yard line. Likely Randy Etzel's third year, and obviously if Brown is unavailable, that would be a huge loss for this team. No gain on the play there. This is the last goal. And again, not much on the ground. Who do you think between Maryland and Rutgers has a better new stadiums on the road, new style of play? Uh, so I don't anticipate them coming in and being like AM and just having a lot of success right off the bat. The early part of uh, the last decade is uh, it's a low kick and returnable. And Jesus Wilson is loose. Gets a block. Inside the 30 and pushed out of bounds. From St. Peter, Petersburg, Florida. And Coco on the keep. Nobody expected that, and he will walk in. 62 to nothing. They tried to run it, and they still scored. And bad kickoff out of bounds. And he wins the award. Yeah. The Miller. Yeah. And not much there on the ground for Vay. I just don't know if Northwestern has enough on defense to stop Ohio. Conversion rate. That ain't going to get it done against Ohio State. Here's Vay on second day. He gets hit and bounces backwards. Kind of sneak up on the Buckeyes, but I don't think the Buckeyes are going to take them lightly with all the fanfare that has kind of circled this game. Here's Ford's on. Super Bowl with your Cardinals. A short punt. And Florida State will have the ball to Berg, who I know is young, but uh, you know, defensively, I thought they would be much better. They lost to UCF, and now they're getting blown out by Indiana. <laughs> Good. How about Georgia Tennessee 330? Is that, I don't know if you want to call it a trap game because it's Georgia Tennessee, but well, Georgia coming off an emotional. To uh, the SEC championship and, and that rematch. Here's Ryan Green, and there's no hole for him to run. Tackle inbounds. To get reps, you got Freeman, Wilder, and Carlos Williams, all juniors. Coker's pass off target. The Maryland team that shut out West Virginia in Maryland's last game. Here's a screen pass, and it's incomplete. Structure, if you will, of a program, and married that with what he took from Bobby Bowden, which was forging those relationships which Nick Saban doesn't worry so much about, but I think it's Clemson. Here's Jaquiel Bay getting loose. And the helmet comes off, and that's... Now she's going to keep it on the ground here with Bay. Not calling plays, or if you're not engaged in the, in the game, what are you doing? He's just calling time. He can focus on the game plan, the strategy, which he's really good at. Here's a dump off pass to Goins, and he lost the ball. It's scooped up for a Maryland first down by Laverne Jacobs. One of their better up. And already with four wins, a, a chance to get at least six, maybe seven, and play in a postseason game certainly would be improved. We knew about Jameis Winston that offense. I think we found out that Florida State's defense has gotten better, and we'll see uh, just how much better in two weeks. They up near the 45-yard line. Struggled defensively, didn't get a ton of pressure on him, but still, the numbers are tremendous, and he had some just incredible throws. Again, I think the downfield. Certainly now, I think his his stock will be in the Heisman race, right? I mean, it will be there. Yeah. His name will be there. I mean, obviously, you take guys like Jadavian Clowney out, right? He's out of the conversation. Now, all of a sudden, if Mariota doesn't look good against Stanford, et cetera, et cetera, so... Uh, that's the only way that I think a couple guys have to fall. Clemson is not that. So will they judge that as, as they did with Manziel? Florida State just trying to run out the clock here with Green. You know, they're, they're so mad, those types of high-profile games outside of Clemson, outside of uh, outside of uh, Florida late, and, and how much better will Miami be when they face...